My work has always been an interest in our aversion for difference in terms of disease itself. All my work has an aesthetic that is different from what you would anticipate in minimalism within the sensibility of what we challenge as art work. It has this kind of use of textiles, which we don't think of as part of contemporary art. Our version for our fabric or textiles is because we think of them as dirty, as we do things like mm. hair, for example, nails, horns, certainly feathers, thread. These are organic things. They remind us of the body in the sculpture. So it has intimacy with the handmade object that we consider being, quote, messy. All this messiness is about our wish to have things contained, sterile, tidy. It's about our understanding of what it means to mix. In 2000, I made a work called Infectious Migrations, which is about our uh, disgust for AIDS in that time frame that I was working. So I really incorporated illness and uh, especially contagious diseases um, to really consider as a way of understanding our responses to difference. We can be very self-destructive creatures. We're really one community, the human community. The very thing that is helping us survive is our collaborative nature, our ability to come together, to cooperate. Nature still is a commanding force that we have so much to learn from. We are nature. We are the very thing we think we want to control. All these things are really a conversation that predates human existence, a conversation between my DNA and the viruses. We really need to see things in more complicated ways. How do we live with this virus should be a healthier question to really ask. We're never going to kill it. There's going to be all kinds of things in the world that to have power over it means not the question, how do we kill it? But how do we live with it has to be in the very forefront of every question we ask when we see difference.